need to do. Okay, so we're going to play a game. Uh, the name of the game is uh, very ordinary. It's just speak up game. Uh, what you need to do is every time we're going to look through every, uh, one test, one test from IELTS, IELTS Cambridge, um, you're going to have some minutes, like up to 10 minutes or maybe even a little bit more to prepare um, yourself to those questions. Let's say the questions that we're going to answer to in this game are these ones. As, as you can see on my screen, uh, you'll have, well, you not right now you already don't have time because um, we had enough time to prepare. Everybody took a piece of paper and uh, their pencil or pen, took their notes on a piece of paper. Now I'm going to ask them a question, any of them. We're going to randomly pick a person. Uh, we're going to generate uh, numbers. Well, as, before we start generating numbers, I'm going to assign a number for each of you. So uh, let's say your number here in this case would be number three. And if your number comes up first, you're going to answer to the question number one. The question number one here is, what job would you like to have 10 years from now? Okay, so if you have uh, second turn then you're going to answer to the second question if you have the third turn you have you you can answer to uh, number uh, question number three four is four and if you are lucky enough if you have number five coming your if your queue is uh, on the ninth uh, if you're ninth one you're going to answer to the whole part two question then number six is um, part three question one Number seven, part three, question two. That's how we're going to get and uh, we're going to play the game. Okay, so once again, we've got seven people here right now. And those people who are going to join, they're going to join and follow us. I'm going to write down the numbers from one to seven. So you can see that I wrote from one to seven. Yeah, if you can see. I'm fair enough. I'm not. I'm not gonna cheat. And I. I wrote seven turns. So we're going to start um, generating. Oh, by the way, before we generate, I want to assign a number for each one of you. So in my list, I can see that Sultan is number one. Okay, Sultan is number one. Marjana number two, Murad John number three, uh, Zain, uh, Jalaluddin number four, Kumush number six, Madina number seven. Oh, yeah. What about me? Uh, by the way, okay. Once again, me number one, Sultan number two, Marjana three, Murad John four, uh, Jalaluddin five, Kumush six, and Madina seven. Okay. Can you remember your numbers? Okay, we're going to generate. Okay, here we go. Uh, if you can see number four is going to start to answer to the question first. So that's going to be in this order. Four, six, five, three, seven, one. That's oh, four, six, five, three, seven, one, and two. And the last one is going to be number two. Okay. So number four in our list is Murajan. Murajan, you're number four, and you're going to answer to the first question. You're going to start. Please turn on your voice. Next uh, person is going to be number six, and that's Kumush. Please get ready. Murajan, please turn on your voice, and you're going to answer to the question number one. What job would you like to have 10 years from now? Uh, firstly, hello everybody. And is my voice clear to you? It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. And I, I guess... Uh, uh, I am I'm planning to be a plastic surgeon. And I guess after the 10 years later, 
I'm gonna be the doctor and working on, uh, in the clinics as a plant and and later I'm gonna I'm planning to open my own clinic uh, to uh, work as a, a businessman and and that's it okay so uh, be careful the question says what job would you like to have I should be like in 10 years you should say what exactly you're going to be what exactly you want to do in 10 years from now you should say in 10 years from now I can see myself being some some kind of like this for example my answer to this question is in 10 years from now I, I see myself as a head of a big university um, which belongs to me um, as, as a businessman I would like to do two jobs uh, two jobs the first one is to have a business and the second one is to lead that business on my own I want to be a director of a university why because that's my dream and I have been dreaming about it for a very long time okay thank you uh, so that's that's my answer that's what I want to do in the future number two is Kamush please Kamush go ahead the question is how useful will English be for your future hi to everybody hey. um, I think the English will play the main role the main part uh, of my uh, job because uh, my future job which I have choose uh, it will be related with the English language I want to be a translator um, in an English translator and uh, it will be basic part of my future job thank you that's that's that was a great answer um, how would I uh, improve my answer uh, in, in your case I wouldn't say translator I would say interpreter um, I would add up some words like not the main role, but significant role. So um, my answer to this question is, it will play a significant role in my future life. As I have already mentioned before, I would like to be a, a head uh, of the university, uh, of a private university, which is going to be basically in English. So uh, English is going to play a very important and significant role in my life. That's my answer. So please uh, think about your answer and try to, that's why, I had I gave you like um, more than 10 minutes to prepare your answers while wow, where you could write down this key keywords that are going to help you okay think about what you want to answer and think about those keywords that might make some uh, let's say might make your sentence more beautiful okay number three who was number three? Number three is uh, number five, and that is Jalaluddin. Jalaluddin, please go to uh, go online and uh, please answer to the question: How much traveling do you hope to do in the future? Uh, my opinion: I will travel a lot of countries uh, because I will enter uh, foreign uh, countries uh, university. But no, uh, I don't know how much uh, journey I do in the future. Okay. Uh -huh. So you want to say that you don't know exactly how much journey you're going to make. Okay. Um, in your case, I wouldn't I answer like that. I would say, um, w well, you know, it, yeah, it's good. But it's very good to be honest. It's very good to say the truth. But, um, be a little bit like a person who uh, fantasizes uh, about the world you can say i think in the future i uh, what, what what that might be can you please hear my answer um i think in the future i will have a lot of traveling i want to learn the history of ancient cities and to see the world and have some holidays and vacations all around the world hope to go to many English speak as many English speaking countries as possible so yeah uh, you don't really need to think uh, how many how many countries you want to go or which countries you want to go 
it's like how much traveling do you hope to do in the future just be like i think i i'm gonna i i want to do a lot it's like do you hope it's not like are you planning to do it's like your hope it's not always um precisely that you do that you're gonna do this exactly okay um who's the next person number three is the next person and number three is marjona marjona please answer to the question how do you think your life will change in the future um i guess it won't be changed um the charging um because, um, because um if i will pass ielts exam uh i hope to uh, i hope to uh, i will i will go traveling in various uh country and around the world and i uh, suppose uh, english will uh, become a key uh, my ability okay um, uh, be careful i didn't ask you about english i didn't ask anything about english you have to be careful with that and yeah you, you need to precisely answer to the question it says how do you think your life will change in the future uh so you you, you could say um it's not like i'm not asking if it's going to change or not I'm asking exactly, how do you think your life will change in the future? How is it going to change? Is it going to be more interesting? Is it going to be more busy? Is it going to be more boring? So you need to say, you don't need to say, I mean, it's not correct to say, I don't think that my life is going to change a lot. You, it's, it's okay to say like that. But uh, the question says how it's going to change the uh, the the person who's asking knows already that it's going to change but maybe it's not going to change a lot as you as you have said it's not going to change a lot um so if you, if you say I, I don't think that my life is going to change in the future a lot because you need to tell the examiner exactly why do you think that it's not going to change but in my from my perspective i think it's going to change because you're going to end up with your school and you're going to apply for university hopefully if you become a student that's going to be a lot different because uh school life totally differs from the university life okay um be careful you are not asked about uh, importance of english in your life and how much you're going to travel it's all about how your life is going to change there are there were four questions and they were all about the future of your life and they all had different turnings as i said remember ielts always asks you uh, makes you, uh the your way more and more difficult it's uh the question first question was about your occupation then it suddenly turned into english and then it certainly turned to traveling and then it certainly turns to how your life changed okay so be careful uh, number five number five was madina yep madina that that was number five and now madina you're going to answer to part two Crime a book that you enjoy reading because you had to think a lot you should say what this book was why you decided to read it what reading made you think about please go ahead you have to speak for at least one and a half minutes up to two minutes okay Nadina yes my voice is clear uh, now it's clear yeah now I can hear you can you start speaking mm -hmm. yes please a book that I have read more than once is Yevgeny Onegin. It was written uh, by Russian author Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin. Uh, this book about a young and um, popular man 
Uh, Yevgeny's life has fully changed when he met he met uh, Tatiana Larina, who lived in neighborhood. Uh, Tatiana admitted love to Anakin, but he rejected it. And in the end, she had she she had done exactly the same. Uh, Pushkin wrote his novel with a whole generation of young people. They lived about the peasants, received education, led an empty secular life, didn't work anywhere. They were brought up by strangers. There was no time for their relatives to engage in their education. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yes. Wow. That was a brilliant speech. That was great. But uh, you've only spoken for one minute and uh, 20 seconds. You, you had to speak at least I mean, like one minute, 30 seconds. You've done a very good job. Um, I, I feel like you have prepared yourself well to this question. And um, hopefully in the future, uh, when you go to IELTS, you will have this question and then you will succeed with your, in your speaking. But uh, please add something more because um, you have told us about the book, the name of the book, the author of the book, and what is inside. Um, then you can also say how this book influenced you. Uh, you can say, why do you like reading this book? What has changed after you, re re you read this book? And the question says exactly, you had to think a lot after reading that book. Why did that book make you think a lot? You know, you, you, you read it and then you thought about it. Why did that book make you think? You should say, okay, for this, this reasons, I felt like after or during the process of reading this book, I was thinking about my life or I was comparing some people that I know with their life. And then it felt like the author lived this life through himself. And it felt to me like the author wrote it from his own side on behalf of himself. Okay, so add something extra to make sure that you speak at least for two minutes, not less than. You've done a great job, but it was not enough. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, next person is, oh, it's me. Number one, it's me, okay. So I'm gonna ask myself a question and I'll try to answer to that question. And uh, yeah, part three. Now we're gonna talk about children and reading. So the question is, what are the most popular types of children's book in your country, in my country? Uh, okay, so here is my answer. To, uh, w well, I think children like reading now, uh, children don't like reading novels and uh, uh, science fictions. But to my mind, our kids like working with stories uh, colorful stories that have a lot of future and uh, happy endings. So in my country, I have seen some kids reading a very kitty stories. Okay, so here's my answer. Um, I hope that that was good enough. If you guys have any suggestions, if you have any, uh, let's say, Anything to correct me? Go ahead. I'll be happy to get your feedback. But if you don't have, then we're going to go to a next person. And the last person is Sultan. Sultan, are you ready to answer to the question? Yes. <laughs> what are the benefits of parents reading books to their children? Uh, very benefit. This uh, to reading uh, books uh, to their children uh, because um, uh, if you read on children, uh, on children uh, grows our own mind and um, there are um, 
they are well uh, understood very cl clearly and uh, in in Peru um, see in the future and learn uh, anything uh, from a uh, story this story. Okay. good that's great i i liked your answer and that 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 was great thank you that was a great answer okay we've got one two three four questions left over and now i'm going to randomly choose the numbers again so this time we're going to reassign the numbers Okay, I'm going to be one, Sultan is going to be two, Marjon is three, Marajan four. Uh, okay, Jalaluddin five, Kumush six, Madina seven. Yep. Oh, I think, I guess uh, it stays the same. Uh, okay, and now we're going to start generating generates. Okay, that's going to be this order. If you can see, it's going to be five, four, three, two, six, seven, and one. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm the last one. Okay. So, we, but we don't have enough questions. So, number five is one, two, three, four, five. Jalaluddin, you're going to be the next person who's going to answer to the question: Should parents al always let children choose the books they read? Jalaluddin, are you here? Uh, I am here. Okay, so the question is, should parents always let children choose the book they read? Uh, not, uh, not always. Uh, while uh, children choosing uh, their own books, uh, uh, allows them uh, to be more engaged, maybe. Uh, some, uh, sometimes parents might uh, want to choose uh, a, a spe uh, specific uh, books to, uh, to uh, teach uh, their children uh, something in uh, particular. Something in particular. Something in particular. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. That that was that was a great answer. Thank you. Um, we're step by step. You got you guys are going to try to improve your speaking skills, and that's totally fine. Don't worry. Um, I think that this is going to work out very soon, and uh, you're going to have a better language skills very soon. Um, all right. The next person is. I do have this ten tendency to forget the numbers. Okay. Next one is number four, and that's Murajan. Murajan, we're now going to talk about electronic books. Uh, how popular are electronic books are in your country? Okay, the, here, IELTS has a mistake? Oh, come on. In this book, there is a mistake. How popular are electronic books in your country? There is nothing like they don't, you don't need to put this R here, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, as far as I know, I don't really think that electronic books are that popular in my country as yet. Because I can see most people, professionals and students, still on a fairly regular method of actually using electronic books. And if I put myself into their shoes, uh, I would definitely have cho choice uh, using uh, the printed version. And uh, I'm in the handbook instead of using uh, ebooks uh, because uh, in some cases uh, it is um, comfortable and useful and. Of course, we all read a little electronic books here and there and there when working on the computers, but when it comes to the serious, serious reading, like a Cambridge uh, uh, materials for the IELTS or uh, the majority of people in my country are still having reliant on printed books. Yeah, that's it. Good job, good job. Great, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Um, I've got one more question to you. You said uh, reading paper-based books, paper books. 
are useful. Mm. Why do you did you say that? Why do you think that they are useful? Uh, because as you know, uh, if you need to uh, if you need to practice uh, for some kind of serious exams uh, like uh, an IELTS, uh, you'll definitely need uh, to write or to draw something on the paper. So that's why uh, in such kind of cases, you need to have a printed version of books because uh, I guess the writing uh, on the on the cell phones or computers, it's kind of tough and challenging, challenging but while you are typing. Uh, that's why I've chose the printed version of books. Yeah. Uh, you've made some couple of uh, small mistakes, like um, uh, you said, like an IELTS test. It's like the IELTS test, okay? So you have to put the correct article. It's like the IELTS test and not cell phones, it's cell phones. Cell phones, yeah. Cell phones, all right? Yeah. Or it, it's better to say mobile phones. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the next person in the raw is number three, and that is Marjana. Marjana, what are the advantages of parents reading electronic books compared to printed books? Mm -hmm. I like the sound. When, whenever you start speaking, Marjana, you say, mm -hmm. That's like uh, the introduction of here Marjana comes. Go ahead, Marjana, please. Um, I never thought about it. You thought about it. Uh, you had 20 minutes of time to think about it. <laughs> Are you going to pass this question to the next person? Yes. Ah, uh, you've got minus one. You see, you you should be ready. You should be ready. Okay, the next person is. Oh, come on, that's Sultan number two. Sultan. Uh, what are the advantages of parents reading electronic books compared to printed books? I think um, printed books is very useful, and um, I don't think you are an electronic. Uh, electronic books if you ever can play screens books in the future. Uh, for example, uh, printed books uh, can help you uh, in a lot of uh, different um, yeah. uh, you can uh, help you understand and uh, it help uh, to get more knowledge and it's comfort to it. Okay, so what is the advantage for the parents? What is the advantage? What maybe what are the advantages if you have more than one advantage? Why do you more think parents have advantage while they're reading electronic books instead yeah. of paper printed books? Because you, you, you were saying yeah. that printed books are better <clears throat> and useful. But the question asks, what are the advantages of electronic yeah. books? Yeah. Yeah. And um, electronic books um, is very comfort to read uh, to uh, search and uh, find uh, to own information and need information. Yep. But uh, printed books, it's very useful and uh, it's uh, give you get information uh, and um, uh, if you uh, read uh, electronic books uh, you okay okay that's good um, I understood your point of view but yeah please work a little bit on your uh, yeah, speaking okay Thank yeah. you. Good. And the last person, I mean, the last question is for person number six. And that person 
is who's number six? It's Komush, yeah. Komush. Will electronic books ever completely replace printed books in the future? Well, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think that uh, the electronic books will ever uh, totally, completely replace uh, printed books because um, in this kind of uh, governments like ours, uh, the states, I mean, president, as did uh, last year, um, like uh, he ordered to build lots of libraries. And uh, I think um, in this kind of governments, uh, Electronic books never replace uh, printed books. It m could be partly um, like uh, used with people, but not totally. Okay, and uh, do you think uh, uh, in other countries where paper is a problem, they will replace totally the printed books? Maybe uh, it could be uh, because every uh, government will uh, do um, like a what the, uh, their condition is uh, like uh, given, yeah, well, yes? Every, every country de uh, acts depending on their possibilities mm -hmm. and ex access yes. mm -hmm. to facilities and uh, goods. Okay, okay. Um, thank you very much for all of your quite good answers. Uh, so uh, in this, let's, let's do some revision. Let's do some revision. That that was Cambridge 10. We're not going to leave, guys, okay? If you are not tired, are you not tired? Do you want to still work? Because I, I, I am willing to work, and I would like to work with you guys. Uh, if you're not tired, please type uh, in, the, in the chat box. Let me know if you're not tired. Uh, who's going to stay? Or we're going to work for maybe one, one, and, a half, one and a half hour. Um, yeah, definitely I'm not. Okay, what about the others? I'm not tired. Okay, let me know, guys. Okay, Marajan is here. Madina is here. Who also? Kumush, me too. Okay. Who also wants to stay with us? Who also wants to pr continue practicing? Okay, well, uh, I, I hope that all of you are going to stay. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to work with the task two. We've done task one, and let's do some revision. In test one, what we have done is uh, we have looked uh, through the questions like that could be about future in part one. So if we had a question what your occupation is going to be that you want to be in the future. Uh, do you think English is going to be useful in the future? Are you going to travel a lot? And do you think your, uh, your life will change in the future? Um, so we said we have to answer to the questions exactly. I said, okay, I want to be a head of a university. Um, I, I do think that English is, very, is going to be very important in my life. I do hope to travel a lot to the countries that I want to know about their histories, like ancient countries and the countries which have English as a first language. And I do think that my life is going to change in the future because right now I'm a father of little kids, but later I'm going to be a father of grown-up kids where I'll have to take care of their life and uh, think about their future. Okay, and part two, we, we, we've been talking about books. Uh, and part three was uh, connected to part two and there were questions related to books. So... We've done a lesson, a, a one day, we have dedicated to learning things about books, and I, I'm pretty much happy that uh, Madina made a very good speech. I know that she has prepared her answer, and I don't know exactly if you looked to your notes, uh, but if maybe if you already uh, remember every single thing about that, and that's um, amazing. I'm, I'm very happy with that. So I'm talking about books. Again, you can talk about uh, the book for a very long time. You, you, sh you should choose that book that you would be able to talk for more than, let's say, half an hour. Because um, uh, generally, there are lots of questions related to books. 
you can see the questions coming right next to that part one, part two. Like, what are the most popular types of books, uh, children's books? So what you need to do, if you don't know what types of books are popular among children, maybe it could be around the world, not only in your country. Write down popular type of books among children. So you can see the list of things that could be. Okay, so, well, let's, let's do it together. We've got, still we've got enough time. Four minutes left. Yeah, we can take a look. We can Google. Popular type of books among children. Yeah, you see folklore, folk tales, historical fiction, realistic fiction, nonfiction fantasy biography so you can you can have a list of uh, books that would be related to kids okay so you should just search and try to remember and what would you think would be the most popular for our country as I said some kind of stories instead of saying some kind of stories I could say folklore and folk tales uh, I didn't mean about historic fiction. I didn't mean about realistic fiction. I was, I really meant about folklore and folk tales. Okay, so that's that's very important to have a vocabulary that is related to that. Okay. Uh, the next question was, what are the benefits of parents reading books to their children? Uh, think about what kind of benefits might there be for uh, parents. Well, they they are reading the book. What are the benefits of parents? Yeah, for parents. Yeah, uh, what what could be a benefit for parents? So when they read a book, they can read about uh, positive things, or they can direct their kid's mind to a specific area. For example, I want my one of my kid to be a doctor. I want another one of my kid to be um, military, and another one. I want uh, her to be a, a teacher like me. So what I would do, maybe I would be reading different stories every day to like to make them like this subject. Or at the same time, I want them all to be a very good human and uh, be in the religion which I'm in. So I would be maybe uh, time by time reading something related to the religion and how it affects in effect our life okay so you could you could you could say the same way um should parents always let children choose the books how popular are electronic books what are the advantages of parents reading electronic books will uh, electronic books ever completely replace the benefits of parents reading books to their children there are almost two the same questions in question uh, that here it's it says a question like what are the benefits of parents reading books to their children? What are the advantages of parents reading electronic books compared to printed books? Yeah, so yeah here Almost the same question, but they have different directions uh, The first one is totally all about books. The second one is about electronic books. So what we're gonna do now uh, Yeah, we're not gonna go far um, We're gonna come back again and in a minute, and we're going to continue with test two, all right? Okay, in a minute, don't go far away. <laughs> 